Hi everybody, welcome back to Build Noble Campers and today's video, yes, is about the International Camper Van and Adventure Overland Show. Oh, what a weekend that is. I tell you, oh, I've been to two now and I can tell you this, both times I've enjoyed it. All I can say to you is, there is cars, vans, trucks, bikes, tents, motorhomes, RVs, overlanders, there's a fairground there, you've got tray stalls for camper vans, tray stalls for the overlanders, there's everything you could think of. Custom cars, classic cars, V-dubs, well anyway, I can tell you all about it, but the best way thing to do is show you, and see if you can spot in the video where I've had a little bit one too many to drink, I actually tell you, and I do some stupid things. Um, but all good fun, and I sound completely nuts. Do you know what? I must be really nuts. You'll see just as we start the video in a minute, you know, completely bonkers. But um, all I can say to you is I hope you enjoy this video. It is a very long video um, because there was so much to see and do at the show. So many vans to look around. I was going to separate this into two videos, but do you know what? It was so good. I've just crammed it all into one video and for you to enjoy. Now, please enjoy the video. Please leave your comments below and um, check out all the other guys that I've left uh, their links in the description. It was a great weekend. And if you haven't been yet and you've not tried, get yourself there. Next June and next September. Try it, you'll love it. I'm definitely going to be back there. I'm hopefully going to be back there every year under the same guise as I was this time because I was in charge of the self-built camper van area and hopefully they'll continue to let me do that every year. Uh, chances are it might look be a bit of an extra work for me on other things but you know what I enjoy it that much I'll do it. Anyway enjoy the video let me know what you think please give me a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed already click that subscribe button hit that notification bell and that way you'll see whenever i put a video out um just to give you an idea what videos i've got coming up um i've got my new bus to finish off i have my old camper van to finish and sell on um we've got the Renault traffic still to finish off and there's loads to do obviously the horse box the crafter the trailer project so there's so much to do if you enjoy my videos please let me know down below because it's you lot keeps me going anyway enough waffling watch this it's absolutely mental the whole show i'll see you after maybe what you do after a few drinks I stopped at the services because I need a coffee. I always seem to be drinking coffee. Anyway, yep, we're on our way and, oh, I could just realize you can spot something just here. Yep, I look a real idiot in this van right now. And do you want to show me, do you want me to show you why? Because I got my friend with me. <laughs> yep. My friend. So, <clears throat> you probably think I'm mad. But you're right, I am mad. If I wasn't mad, it wouldn't be me. Anyway, right, we're going to get onto the show and I'll get some footage of the drive there when we arrive at the showground. Um, Today is Wednesday, so it's going to be pretty quiet at the showground so far. But I want to get some footage of as it is now. Um, anyway, I might even try and get let's get on the road. Good morning everybody and welcome to the International Camper Van and Adventure Overland Show. Right, these fields are looking quite empty at the moment. 
So let's pan you around and show you about a little bit. And if I show you, just over there, you can see vehicles are starting to come in. So yeah, it's Friday morning. It's very early in the morning, it's eight o'clock. And people, I mean, people are arriving since Wednesday and camping and setting up. Um, like I said, you've got trade stalls there, but you've also got camper van trade stalls over this side. Um, there's a bit more organization by the looks of it this time compared to the last time. Um, things are gonna get busy by the sound of it. I mean, chatting with the organizers. Right, so you can see we've started on our third row. Um, I think we're about 23 vehicles here so far. And today is a Friday morning. So that's over the past couple of days. And I'm looking at the traffic now and the parking out the front is coming in thick and fast. So I think everybody's rushing here early today, probably finishing work early to get here early. But it's a busy, busy area everybody's on the go everybody's doing stuff even this early in the morning Look at this, we're back at this van from the last show and you might see this, look at this. Got new additions. Changes on this vehicle is unbelievable. And I think everybody might remember this. Come on. We're back with the guys again, so. And they're always inventing stuff. I love it. Well, if you can do all this, I'm sure it's Nice and warm in there, isn't it? Yeah. It moves. You actually, you can so you're sitting in it, then? Yeah. Which one? Are you in the van where the sub used to be? Okay, so I've been talking. Oh my god, look at this.
everybody and welcome back to Built Not Bought Camp because this is the first day of the actual show and let me tell you this much the first day of the show we are heaving look at that I'm going to pass you over now to the camera and take my face out of it and we'll have a bit of a look around
How you doing? Alright? Right, so some of these vehicles here are absolutely amazing. <laughs> Hello, darling. <laughs> So there you go, there's a lot going on here. This is just the first day of the show and the sun's beautiful and everybody's friendly and there are some amazing vans here. I've been working my backside off as I usually do but hey ho, I love it, that's what we do, that's why we do this. Um, so many friendly faces, so many people want to talk to you. Um, later on we're going to have a look at the Overlander show, look at some of the trade stalls and see what's going on elsewhere and there is a lot going on here. It was busy back in June in my last video which I'll leave a link to up there but this show is even busier. Um, so I'm going to get on, find some more to video and I'll see you soon.
good thing about the International Camper Van Show is everybody is welcome. If you look at that, you even got a motorcyclist with a tent. And we're going to take a little wander down to the YouTuber's Village. And it's not actually called the YouTuber's Village this time around. It's called the Content Creators Area, which is run by Steve Radford from the Romeo Radfords. And I'll put a link to his channel in the description below. I mean, the show is absolutely massive again. As you can hear music going on in the background. Um, there's always lots going on here. Let's go and see if we can say hello to a few YouTubers. So I was chatting to Mr. Steve Radford yesterday. And unfortunately, his wife is not here today. But one thing we do have, which I love, we have a virtual lens. Yes, virtual lens. Found lens, look at that. I don't know. Mr. Radford, bless you. Right, so who else have we got along here? Oh, look out. Hello. Hello, guys. You know what, you come and say hello. You got me crying uh, on good. camera. Oh, no. In a good way. Oh. They're just saying really nice things about me. Well, they're lovely, aren't they, the pair of them? It's unusual. They're gorgeous, the pair of them. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. You can't say that. I have to bleep that out. <laughs> no, on my channel, you don't. <laughs> you get the full lot. Bad, good, all of it. <laughs> and let's go to a couple more. See you later, right, guys. See you later. Are you going to go? Hello, Are you everybody. Um, uh, my, uh, what, huh? No, you. Digging? Must be someone else. He's not you. I'm not getting Must be someone else. Someone no, said that someone's singing you. in the main yeah. really? I'm not being paid enough. I might be singing. I'll buy you a bit. You've got a lovely singing. Can you sing, can you? Yeah. You can, yeah. yeah. I can when I'm drunk. Yeah. Yeah. Weirdly enough. Yeah, I can sing. Did you shower? Pardon? Did you shower? Yeah, normally I'll stay. I, I have no... <laughs> me being with a mic in front of whatever the many people doesn't bother me. Are you having fun? We're having oh, a yeah. great fun. Right. This is our yeah. first one as well, and we're like, oh, buzzing. Hello. Hello, you alright? <laughs> How you doing? I'm good, you? <laughs> I'm going to talk to the better half. <laughs> <laughs> we want to talk about the wheels and tyres, the, the interesting yeah, stuff. Yeah. These are great. Oh, awesome. I was watching oh, your video yeah. yesterday. Proper, proper boots, Pass. proper hiking boots proper. they are, yeah. Definitely good for the trip. Ab yeah, good for the trip, absolutely loving them. Yeah, I highly recommend them on any van. Yeah. Well, I was watching the video and I, you know all the tech stuff, which is great. Yeah, yeah, which yeah, is yeah. absolutely great. Yeah, you got to do your numbers. I did my research and for what I need them for, these these came out top. So they look good as well. Yeah, they, they do, do look bloody good. good. They make they make Fanny look I, a bit more aggressive. I always they? say it's like I changed the tyres, just the tyres on mine, and painted the wheels black. Yeah, the steels. Yeah, yeah. And even that just give it a whole yeah, new absolutely. look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whole new look. Yeah, it's, it's for me. It's more about the tyres than the wheels. Mm. Um, because stills are great because if you have a ding and stills you can just knock them back into shape. Put a bit of paint yeah, on them, done with it, them, yeah. done with it. Whereas these you crack one and you're, yeah. you're stuffed a little bit. A lot of money. Yeah. I don't have my camera in Luke's van. Oh, not I you. need my camera in Luke's van. You film my van a lot. No, I don't actually. Don't get inside it. I see this guy more than anybody, and I never get the camera inside the van. Yeah. But now, today, we will be. Well, it's... this is a van. <laughs> this, this, this is a van. This is Luke from Luke's Van Life. Yeah. Oh, okay. How you doing? Yeah, very good, thank you. Oh, I haven't.
Now I spoke to this guy earlier about this and this is something else. Well, it is night time here at the Overland Adventure Show and International Campervan Show. I'm going to keep swapping them two around because they're two shows that have been mixed into one. So you have the International Campervan Show, which is all camper vans, um, and you have the Adventure Overland Show, which are your 4x4 vehicles and adventure vehicles. As you can see, it's very, very dark. Oh, I'm about to get run over by a car. So, still got the fire pits going on over there. Let's go and see my friends with this crazy, crazy car. Evening. Evening. <laughs> Music is pumping as usual. Got to get a bit of nighttime footage. We're definitely going to be racing them things tomorrow, too. Hey, hey, what's going on here? What's going on? Bonkers, absolutely bonkers, isn't it? You missed my light show, didn't you? Ah, I'll be back. There's still lots and lots of people wandering around. Um, we've had a bit of rain tonight as well. But the fire pit is going to definitely be the place to be tonight. So I'm going to go and sit down and enjoy a couple of drinks, meet some friends, sit with some friends, and enjoy the evening. And if I have one too many to drink, I'm going to come back to you, turn the camera on, and make myself look a real idiot later. That's what one too many drinks does for you. Amazing what you do after a few drinks. We're really gonna do this, come on. Yep. Let's have a race right, first. We're gonna go right down there and then time. You 
absolute maniac. He's a maniac. Take his license, he's a maniac. Take his license, he's a maniac. Absolute maniac. Oh, shit. Take him, he's, he's a maniac. He's an absolute maniac. How can I say he's a maniac and I'm the one wearing the wig driving a three-wheeler? I mean, look. See, maniac on the loose. Look, maniac. Total maniac. <laughs> oh, dear. See, I thought, oh, wheelie. Wheelie. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear.
So we're on day two of the show. And some of these vehicles are really amazing. <clears throat> I'm literally just over by, look at these. These American school buses, two completely different types. Two totally amazing vehicles. Right, so this is my perfect van. <clears throat> we got the food fridge, but more importantly, the beer fridge. I want one. I always say that, I always say I want one. But this van is totally being built by one person and he's gonna try and do a skill which I'm trying to have a go at and he's sewing. It's not a man thing. But look at the bed up there.
Right, so that's the end of another show. And people are starting to pack up everywhere. Pack down, put stuff away, and go home. So the next international camper van and overlander show will be next year. And again, this place was amazing. You've got the friendliest bunch of characters all in one huge massive race course. And that's the thing with this community. Um, whether you're calling yourself van lifers, 4x4ers, overlanders, uh, full-timers, part-timers, weekend warriors, no matter who you are. Builders, trade stalls, everybody here is so friendly. No problems. And I love coming to these. This is only my second. But will I be here again next year? You're damn right I will be. Anyway, I'm afraid that's all we've got time for now. That's it for another show. What did you think? Let me know. All the people that I know, all the people that I met, and everybody that have seen my videos come and said hi to me. It, you know, it really has made my day. And I cannot wait to go to next year's show. But I'm afraid that's it for this year. But like I said, I have loads more videos coming up. And I hope you're enjoying them. Uh, again, let me know if you are. So, that's it from me for now. I hope you're staying safe, I hope you're staying well, and most of all, staying really happy. Bye for now.